Hey, my name is Dan. I used to work at the biggest dealership in the country and now I teach fine folks like you how not to get fucked when buying a car. Now in this video, we're going to talk about buying rebuilt title cars and how not to get screwed price-wise when you're buying a rebuilt title car. Let me give you a little disclaimer, okay, because many of you may be thinking, well, Dan, you know, rebuilt titles, blah, 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 they suck, blah, blah, blah. Relax. First, I've been driving rebuilt title cars my entire life. My family and all my friends have been driving rebuilt title cars bought from car auctions, repaired ourselves. Our entire fucking lives, okay? For 20 years, I've been driving that shit. Yep, I'm old as fuck. I just got that good face lotion going on. Second, rebuilt title cars is not a problem if it's properly repaired. If we don't rebuild cars from salvage and put them back on the road, what will we do? There's like... 10 million cars that get into car accidents every year. In 10 years, that's 100 million cars. What are we gonna do with that shit? Send them to outer space? The best form of recycling is fixing shit and giving it more life. Guys, these cars are, are a complicated piece of machines, okay? And there's some toxic stuff in them, you know? Well, not toxic, toxic, okay? Not, not like your uh, feminist uh, college class, but I'm talking about like batteries, uh, all this, all sorts of electronic computers and stuff like that. Metal can be melted down, it's not an issue. Rubber can be reused, plastics can be reused. It's the stuff in the batteries and uh, some other stuff that's in a car that you can't really reuse it. What are you gonna do with, with some of that stuff? Make sense? Okay, let's talk about this situation here, okay? Looking for a car for somebody, trying to be a nice guy. They asked me for fucking help. You know, well, I, I can do five minutes of help to save somebody thousands and thousands and thousands of fucking dollars. So, we're looking at this 2015 Ford Expedition ELXL fleet. Okay, this is boring ass, just a very simple fucking Ford Expedition, okay? Nothing fun about it. $13,000, I'm calling that $13,000 in my book. And let's see how many miles it has. 40,000 miles, wow, that's not bad. That's not bad, this thing is uh, 2015, 40,000 miles. Okay, that's pretty reasonable. That's actually really low miles because the car is only five years old, baby. Let's look at the VIN. Oh, 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 okay, where, where is the VIN? How come the VIN is, is hidden? Why is this company not showing the VIN? Is it because they're trying to hide something? <laughs> So I pretended I wanted to buy the car. I got the VIN, they sent me the auto check. Let's, let's check this puppy out, okay? Here's the auto check. Look at the last four of the VIN, 9234, all righty? This is gonna be our VIN. This is what we're gonna be sticking with. It has state title branded reported. Okay, so there's an issue with the title of some kind. Odometer problems. Why would there be odometer problems? I mean, I don't understand, but we're gonna, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna put on our big freaking uh, Sherlock Holmes hat get our uh, bubble pipe <laughs> and uh, we're gonna keep going. Okay, look at this here. So on uh, 0223 2015 odometer reading zero, there is only one time it was recorded at 10 and then their last time that it was recorded 0223 2019. Very, very interesting that it's to the day exactly four years at 40,000 miles. We're gonna keep digging. We're gonna keep digging about this car. Oh boy, that's interesting. Look at this, look at this. Do you see the VIN? 9234, this is the same VIN. Do you see the VIN? Okay, how much you got sold for? 1,950, I'm gonna call that 2,000 buckaroos. $2,000, $2,000. And they're selling for 13. Guys, how much damage do you think on this car that it sold for $2,000 and how much markup there is, okay? How much markup there is? So for us to figure out how much markup there is, I'm gonna give you a, a little inside secrets, okay? So you're gonna have, so $2,000 at, at the auction, $500 for auction fees and all that bullshit. Now let's look at the damage, okay? Primary damage, rear end, okay? Look at this stuff, rear end. What do you, guys, look at it. What's the problem? What the hell is the problem here? Dirt, some scratches, it might need a new bumper. How much is a new bumper? You know, a couple of hundred bucks. You don't even need to paint it, that motherfucker all the way, it's just white tops. That's it. Guys, do you see the primary damage? Because I don't see it. Where's the damage? The secondary is mechanical. What does it need? An oil change, new spark plugs. But here's the best part. Look at the fucking miles. Let's read this together, okay? I'm not a scientist, didn't even graduate high school. Follow me, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get this. Three, five, double bagel, 
one. That looks like 350,000 miles. Again, I'm not a scientist, didn't even graduate high school. How do we go from what looks like 350,000 miles to 40,000 miles? On the side, right, right above seller detail, it says mileage. 350,000 miles and 41 says actual. How did we go from 350,000 miles to 40,000 miles? This thing is a fleet vehicle. So this thing was driving 24 fucking seven. Very likely, holy fuck. I, I mean, I live in such a phenomenal fucking neighborhood. If you guys see shit go, going on outside, that's only because my fucking walls and windows are pretty much nothing. They're pretty much non-existent. Okay, do you guys see the problem here? Do you see a problem? Vehicle sold for $2,000 with 350,000 miles, looks like it's 350, unless I don't know how to fucking count, and then it's being sold for almost $13,000 with 40,000 miles. Guys, be careful when you're buying this shit, do not overpay. And I, yes, 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 I do teach all this shit and how to spot all, the, uh, all these fucking problems when you're buying a car from a private dealer or a fucking dealership in the course at 60minutecar.com. I created a special fucking training program just to spot this bullshit right here. Okay, there's another car. This isn't the only one. Guys, there's more than enough of them. Listen, I don't need to go search far and wide. These cars are all over the place. I find them just by helping people. That's it. I don't go out and fucking hunt for this bullshit. People need my help, I help them. That's it. Next car, this 2015 Jeep Wrangler, okay? 30,000 miles. Look at this puppy, it looks pretty damn good. Look at the price, 27.5. That's not enough money for them. $27,500 is not enough money for them. They had to add $400 dealership fee. By the way, they didn't, they didn't even want to negotiate with me. <laughs> what fucking turds. Do you guys want to know a little bit something about this car? I'll tell you a little secret, check this out. That's right, this is a rebuilt title car, sold for $12,500. There's no problems with the miles here, okay? No problems with the miles, but look what it sold for, 12 and a half, and they are selling it for $27,500 plus $400 dealership fee. I'm gonna call that $28,000 car, okay? That's what I'm sticking with, because, you know, dealerships and integrity, those two things are parallel. They will never meet. How much do you think it was to repair this car? It, it may look scary. I'm, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, this, this is not bad. Like, this is not bad. You have a big ass fucking bumper in the front that took majority of the hit. And I think it was a, a tree that fell over. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Because there's a nice crease on the roof and there's a crease in the bumper. So it, it hit an object that's probably about this, this big and it fell over. Or what could have happened it was an old tree, a branch broke off and fell on top of that shit. Um, or I don't, I don't this, listen, this, this is just me being fucking Sherlock Holmes. I don't know exactly what happened. I'm just guessing. I'm looking at the fucking evidence trying to figure this thing out. Or it might have rolled. New window, new top, new hood, new fucking maybe, maybe fenders, grill, uh, new bumper. It's not that much stuff, guys. Really, it isn't. This is just just plastics, just just fucking cosmetic bullshit. This, you know, it's a very simple fix in my book. Very fucking simple. You take the old shit off, recycle it. You put the new shit on, paint it, and you're good to go. How much money do you think they're making? Hmm? How much money do you think this dealership is making? Do you think they're making? I don't know, ten thousand dollars, seven, six thousand dollars? <laughs> they're selling it for. 28 grand, 28 grand for the car. You tell me how, how much, what's the price difference between 28 and 12 and a half, or $500 uh, plus auction fees, 13. What's the difference? That's $15,000. That's, is that $15,000 worth of fucking good quality repairs? Hmm? <laughs> Let's be honest with you. If you ever worked in the car, this is not 15 thousand dollars worth of fucking repairs you can get a repair for way less than that be careful when you're buying rebuilt title cars they should be 30 percent below market price not msrp not kelly blue book not Edmonds, not some other bullshit magical fucking place that they decided to pull their numbers out of i am talking about 
actual market value. What everybody else is selling for, rebuild title should be 30% less or even more in some situations. Huge thank you for watching this video. Click here to subscribe, watch one of those two videos and click the share button below the video. Did you enjoy the video? Did you find it useful? Do you think you're gonna save some money with it? Absolutely, fucking lutely you will. Share this video on Facebook with somebody else. This is Dan Strong with 60 Minute Car. I'm signing out and I'll see you in another video.